It cannot be enough for somebody simply to give back a CBE and think it's all over, game over. When she's in a pulpit during the daytime preaching about forgiveness and about doing your bit. And, you know, the church bazaar, uh, tea cakes and crumpet. And yet, uh, Paula Venels is pursuing 700 people for all they're worth, knowing that the horizon system was faulty. Now, how can we even say that without all the facts? Well, we know some of the facts. We know that many of the people who tried to bargain with the post office for some sort of plea were told were made to sign NDAs to say that uh, whatever whatever they believe, they can never say that the um, that the problem lay with the Horizon software. <laughs> that suggests everybody knew. In the post office, there was a problem with the Horizon software. And why would they not? Particularly when uh, Jason Coyne, the IT expert, comes forward to say that in 2003 he produced a report saying that the Horizon software was producing unreliable data. And uh, as a result of this, apparently... Uh, he was pressured. Uh, he was a forensic, a digital forensic investigator at an Evolution Project Consulting in Lancashire, and he was instructed by the post office as an independent expert to analyse data um, from one of the branches in Lancashire in 2003. It was clearly defective. There were clearly problems with its hardware, software, interfaces, and the majority of errors noticed in the fault logs could not be attributed to the sub-postmaster. That's what he said. I also noticed that there were a number of concerning discrepancies within the audit logs. He flagged up his concerns, but he said the post office effectively sacked me and attempted to discredit the report internally. That is simply malicious. So you've got the NDAs. You've got a report which presumably can be referenced. And... All these things are seeping out now because of the ITV drama. Why, why weren't these things being trumpeted by the inquiry? Oh, because the post office has got some control over the inquiry. It's simply mind-blowing. Anyway, he was, uh, he was one of the people approached by Alan Bates and he became an expert witness in the case and was cross-examined in court for four days. I had the truth, I had the data, and had all the technology evidence to back up that data. But if the post office had acted when he submitted his report, a lot of the people who were subsequently prosecuted and attacked and vilified in their own communities would have been saved that misery. A lot of the last... 20 years need not have happened. 2003, it's a long time ago. Um, and it's arrogant to assume, as the post office did, that once they're paid for a system, it's going to be watertight and foolproof. As we move into the 21st century and recognise that we are going to be dealing with AI, we have to also recognise that it will be faulty that there will be faults, there will be failings. And the computer is not always right. My, 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 my internet just went off and, uh, and, my, and my wireless link just went off and there, there was nothing I can do. And that's routine, isn't it? It doesn't need to be. It's because the system has been badly engineered in the first place it's it's full of bugs and and therefore it's constantly failing and it doesn't really matter which company you use i think anybody who recognizes 
that something as straightforward as the internet is constantly failing must recognize, surely, that a system like Horizon needs to be debugged, needs to be checked, needs to be routinely serviced. And if so many people are complaining there's a problem, maybe there is. Maybe there is.